Hey, I'm rich. I build stuff. Like this model here. Welcome to Memorial Lexington Part 16. So yeah, here I added these mat, built these masts up, added them, and uh, if you want to see how that was done, stay tuned. Also, as for uh, just a little bit of an admin thing, I would also like to thank Hamel54 for their subscription. Thank you very much. Welcome aboard. I hope to keep entertaining you. We're now at 42 subscribers again. Yay! All right. Enough of that. On to the building. And then I start by gluing the uh, mast cheeks, those are little curvy blocks you see there, onto the uh, big mast. It tells you to do the big main mast first and then a the little mast. But yeah, 42, this is the answer. Not showing your face, this is the way. Waiting for glue to dry, this is the build. All right, so the kit is asking for some two by two and three by two strips of this darker wood here. Good news is I have a three by two strip here. I think that's the case. Am I, not, am I mistaken or is this a little bigger? So this is two, this is three, this is a three by two. These are like one and a half by three, so they're not quite as awesome. But what I also, I also need two by two, so square stock. Don't seem to have that in the kit anywhere that I can find. But I have these one by one guys and all I really need to do is just carve them up accordingly. So that's what I'm gonna do. And as I said, I do carve them up. So I, uh, the thinking was that if you have one by one stock and you need to make two by two stock, you take four pieces of one by one stock, glue them to each other in a square and you have two by two. Uh, and that works for some of these, uh, for the first mast, and then the next one I end up kind of sucking it up and uh, trimming down the 3 by 2 sections of it so it's 2 by 2 And the way this carving has worked is um, I would either measure with the calipers and then cut with the scalpel, or I'd measure with the calipers, mark with the scalpel, and then cut with that saw there. Sometimes I used the uh, Dremel to try to make sections, but uh, or the cutouts, which were like supposed to be about two by two. But overall, I ended up mostly using the hand saw. I think it was was easier to use. Maybe it was you know better for me. I don't know. Um, probably that I had more control of the precision. Bad news is I didn't have control of the uh, wood breaking itself apart. So you'll see bits where I glue the wood together and you know have to wait to make it stick together. Hence, watching glue dry. This is the build. But uh, thankfully, not quite this point. Here you see me gluing a little you know mini deck to the top of that uh, cross tree there, and then you know you got to fray around the edges because that's the instructions say to do, and that makes it look a lot nicer. Um, on the second mast, I do, I use a clamp, and I probably should have used clamps all along, thinking about it now. More clamps would have made this a lot easier to do, but, you know, live, learn. I've got some thoughts. But going right along, you got the, um, you got the, uh, yeah, wood framing around, and then eventually I end up adding a little block thing as well to the uh, very top of this, uh, Mast the you know instructions call it B1 after some hemming and hawing I do it and then uh, once I've got that in place I add the next part of the mast and I glue it down a little further than it should have the instructions say go down to just under that top mini deck you add and what I did is I went down to the bottom of the cross tree so now I've got two masts that look just about the same height one really one should be like a few millimeters taller than the other honestly I don't think it matters all that much. Hey, the kids' music, but the kids aren't in the shop. I just figured it'd be a good song. Eh. <laughs> okay, but anyways, other than it being a nice, pleasant, dreamy song, uh, so I've heard and found it myself, you know, watching people make stuff can kind of help you go to sleep. And if you would like me to do that again, you know, go mostly low speed, and then you can just watch me in the shop, and I can put music over it, Y'all can ask for that.
Or if you want more stream of consciousness, what exactly you're doing, Rich. That too. That's what the comments are for, you know. Because then it's not entirely, you know, yeah, maybe my channel, but you're the audience and I do it for you guys and anyone that wants to watch. So, anyways, speaking of what we're doing here, uh, I am using the vise to hold some of those uh, cross tree members together so I can cut across two of them at the same time and try to make things fit good together, you know. Because if you're making the same cut, it's going to, you know, go a lot better than making two separate cuts on two separate pieces. And then you got to deal with all your management errors related to all that. And yeah. But you can get around that by cutting things in the same operation. So, there we go. More wood glue. And then this is the part where I put the little block on to make the top mast piece. Now, that little block, I have to cut in half. That's because it just doesn't quite grip onto the tippy top uh, mast section properly. But I do that and it works. And then I repeat the uh, same feat with the uh, four mast, or mast A as the uh, instructions want to call them. This is where I go ahead and make the uh, two by two mat, um, sticks out of the three by two stick, uh, as I mentioned a bit earlier. Yep, and of course, sand down the edges to make it look nice. Mark where appropriate with the uh, scalpel or try to cut through where appropriate. And here we go, making the pieces. And I found that if you make them a little longer than you intend, you could always sand them down to get just the right length. So that's a good thing that I learned too. Hopefully I learned to use it more. And then again, using the vise, getting things nice and lined up so, as you just saw, I can do things in the same operation and the holes will line up just perfect. And then I break with that tradition, I think, is how that ends up happening. Um, after doing a bit more filing down. Yeah, so there's that. Um, lots of filing, lots of gluing little pieces of these, uh wooden beams that uh, decided to come off when I was cutting for some reason. Mm. I gotta say, plastic never did that kind of thing to me, where you'd cut it and it would just split at random almost. And I understand wood does it, but um, it's irritating that wood does it. Good news is, soon enough I'll be back to working on that Dreadnought model that uh, I interrupted for this build. Alright, anyways, so there we go, now I'm gluing things down, namely those uh, cross tree members after sanding were needed, and then cutting down for the next ones, because that's going to be part of getting everything together and working right. And it looks like these cross tree members, looking back now at this footage, took the majority of the time. Eh. What is it they say, it's the little stuff that gets you? Anyways, so there we go, cutting more bits of it, and I think one of these I finally mix up a bit, so I have to remake it. But, that happens, it's life. Yeah. And of course, I should pro. I gotta find a good way, a good place to hold, where to hold this uh, camera. And a, a thing to hold it on where it's not gonna end up jamming into me. That's the annoying part of this. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sure I'll think of something. But while I am blissfully ignorant, just I guess we'll just listen to music and watch where I build the last bits of the mast, because once this cross tree is done, I put it to the top of that uh, foremast bit, it dries a bit, then I uh, glue on that other little block. Again, I have to cut it in half to, you know, make it latch on to the uh, mast itself. And once that all goes, you will see me very briefly at the end of this glue it all in. There you go. Here it is. And if you stuck through with this, thank you very much. You, sir, madam, whatever, are a beast. All right. Time for the outro. Enjoy. All right. It's glued in. Seems to be staying vertical for the moment. Unfortunately, I got a huge gob of glue down there. I'm not going to be able to get out. But uh, it's easy shrinking in a bit. That's a good thing. And of course, there's definitely some good glue in here that'll hold this down in position. So, all right. I got this guy. I got these guys. Next is going to be adding all these little things that we put together previously. And after that, it'll probably be uh, 
yeah, a couple more weeks of rigging and this thing will be done. We can get back to uh, the Dreadnought playlist that I interrupted, but that's neither here nor there. That makes me just want to crank this out faster. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting the get it done itis, I guess. I don't know. All right, well, till next time though, I am rich, I build stuff, and um, time for the YouTube dance. Like, share, subscribe, hooray! Peace out.